engaged on work which even to men would be tough and dangerous, are 18 of the most amazing women in the British Isles. At their convent in Radnorshire, Wales, the 18 Carmelite nuns have come out of the total seclusion to which they have vowed themselves to build a chapel for their convent, to build it entirely with their own hands. With the aid of books and friendly advice, the nuns have taught themselves the basics of the building trade. Penniless, every stage of their work has gone ahead only as money given in arms has been forthcoming to pay for their tools and materials. They use up what materials they have and then wait, if they have to, for the next lot to arrive. Members of an enclosed order whose life is normally concentrated on prayer, the Carmelite nuns had to obtain a special dispensation from the Pope to come out of their complete isolation. When their chapel is built, when finally they can lay down their pickaxes, hammers and chisels, their saws and their shovels, the nuns will once more return to their life of seclusion and prayer. but effective, their work is a tribute not only to their powers of improvisation, but also to the faith which has interpreted in so liberal a fashion their maxim that God helps those who help themselves. Thirty feet above the ground, seemingly unaware of the risks involved, the nuns carry on their amazing work. Nearly all past middle age, the nuns go for their lemonade break as they go about their work with a hop, skip and jump agility which mocks at their years. They have been well trained for their new labour, for their daily life in the convent is no easy one. From 5.30 in the morning till 11 at night, it's a regular round of religious services, the making of altar breads for sale, spinning, cooking and caring for their cow, sheep and goats. It's no wonder they've been able to take bricklaying in their stride. We can only imagine with what pride they look at the altar they make themselves. Soon, punctually at midday, the bell rings for the Angelus. At work or at prayer, the Carmelite nuns of Radnorshire should be an inspiration to us all. <laughs>